All right, guys, so guess our luck. This car that I rented out, unfortunately, won't turn on. Um, we were trying to see if there was anyone else in the house that we were staying at, but um, we heard people upstairs, but Brad's doing work. Let's go, Brad. He's got the block going. <laughs> oh, savage. All right, as you guys can see, put the key in, everything turns on. Nothing. Let's go home. What's going on guys? It's Ricky with Tech with Solutions. We got Brad over here. So his link is going to be okay. down in the description if you guys don't follow him. Um, but if you guys have watched any of our videos, it, they usually have to do with day trading and stuff like that. Today actually has nothing to do with day trading. I came and I flew out here to, uh, to Dallas and then drove to Houston. Uh, and then Brad came from Baltimore um, and flew out here. And don't we have a freaking story for you guys. So uh, Brad, <laughs> all right. So I drove out here, right? And this is my first time in like Dallas and I thought, you know, I thought that was scary. Um, Brad yesterday on his way over here, again, we're doing this to volunteer to help out, the, uh, help out those and our members that were unfortunately devastated by Hurricane Harvey. Brad got rear-ended yesterday on his way to the airport. Um, he still has like some neck pains. I had to get him some Tylenol. Um, adult, super strong. Uh, <laughs> but overall, um, it was very unfortunate that he got rear-ended. Rear Oh, <laughs> he wants his coffee. Uh, so we're gonna pull into Starbucks right now. But it's just, it's so cool um, to see. Even though he did get rear-ended and, and all the issues that you know, aside from that, um, he came on over. He flew over here. I picked him up at the airport, and we, and then you know, we stayed at the Airbnb. Now, Brad made a new friend. <laughs> So uh, there's this cat inside the Airbnb house that won't leave him alone and keeps like crawling all over him, keeps attacking him. I told Brad because he kept messing around with it. He's building a relationship and now doesn't want to leave you alone, man. He doesn't come next to me. I mean, he goes under the bed, but. Listen, I'm not the one that's deathly terrified of this two pound little kitten. The kitten is not even like like six months old. It, it, is, it is this big. Dude, that thing. Okay, and Ricky bro. is jumping and freaking out every time it gets within a foot of it. So I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> oh. I was just trying to be nice. Right? Oh, but, shit. you know, it, it, overnight, the, out of the thing just never slept. And then we tried to lock it in the room, and then all it was doing was just crying the whole time. So I let it out, and it was just attacking my feet the whole night. So after, after the whole cat scenario, that was last night, right? Um, I re reached out to the to the house owner and stuff like that, and um, I was like, hey, look, we don't think it's like, you know, um, extremely comfortable to have the, the cat just kind of hanging around, and unfortunately, it's like, you know, causing like disruption like with our sleep and stuff. Um, and you know, it's been, a it was a really long day yesterday. So we reached out, they're like, okay, yeah, we'll put it away. I was like, well, why was that not the first option? Like, why was it not put away? Uh, but overall, got that all settled. We got all ready. Um, we're on our way, um, trying to get on our way to actually go to the Houston Food Bank so we can help out. Um, and then the car would not turn on. So if I didn't have Brad, this would have been much more <laughs> difficult because you guys know how dorky I am or uncoordinated. So um, the car wouldn't turn on. He goes and... Um, like starts tagging people down um, and then he tags down this old lady with like you know for jumper cables and then he, he was like uh, well I don't just need jumper cables I also so, need so, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to flag people down on the road and they're just driving by like I'm some idiot you know of course I probably wouldn't stop either because there's a <laughs> sketch dude just trying to flag people with the down. Camera. Right yeah I got the camera in my hand so, but there's this little lady across the street who's taking out her trash. And so I run up to her and I'm as nice as I can be, you know, good morning, blah, blah, blah. I was like, hey, listen, um, we're not from around here and our car won't start. I'm pretty sure well, the battery's dead. Like we'll give me one second. <laughs> Just give me an iced coffee. Can I get an iced coffee, please? The, the tallest one. What size and what would you like in it? Tall. Black. Black? Tall. Black. 
265. Thank you. Okay. So anyway, I was like, you know, we're broke, we're broke down. The battery's dead. Do you happen to have jumper cables? And she's like, sure, I got some jumper cables. So she comes out and she's like half asleep. You can tell she just woke up. She comes out, hands me these jumper cables, and then it's like basically gives me this look like, here you go, have a nice day. So then I looked at her and I was like thinking to myself, okay, if I'm somebody that has no idea how jumper cables work, maybe <laughs> I should probably be a little bit nicer about it. Because at this point, I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? Of? <laughs> Just hand me some jumper cables. So I was like, I was like, ma'am, um, so we need another car to jump the car that is dead <laughs> and she just looks at me rolls her eyes and is like okay fine i'll go get my car and i'm just kind of like trying to be <laughs> <laughs> that kind of i didn't it. know that yeah so she comes out you know everything's fine she brings the car over we get get, get the car started and then she eventually apologizes for being grumpy because apparently she's not a morning person and it was all good and we explained to her what we were doing down here and so then she was even more <laughs> apologetic um Overall, we're on our way to the food bank. I'm getting my Starbucks. So hopefully the rest of the day goes on without a hitch. We'll see. Yeah, so I, I don't think I can take much more. All right, guys, so now we have another issue. <laughs> Brad ordered a uh, tall, we never go to Starbucks, and uh, Brad ordered a tall um, coffee thinking that it was gonna be like a long. And it's like the smallest one. So. I did say give me the biggest one you got. <laughs> but I guess all sugar was tall, but whatever, I got coffee. Yeah. Are going and helping out, we're going and helping out, we're going and helping out. Houston Food Bank. How do you feel, Brad? Tired. Tired? <laughs> Why, bro? You had, a, you, had a cut, cat. you had a cut of buddy last night, bro. <laughs> Alright guys, and look! Follow the tubes, let's go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.